This is Erin. Erin is a recreational runner. She normally runs about three times a week and has been running for a couple of years. Recently, she's been having some discomfort on her right shin when she runs. She finds that in day-to-day -day activity, she gets a little bit of aching there, but the second she goes out to run, she gets a sharp pain on her right shin. We're going to assess the way that Erin runs. So we're going to have a look at what happens to her movements around her joints when she's running. We're going to assess Erin from all four sides so that we can have a look at the movement in all of the different planes. As Erin walks over the pressure plate, we're able to measure the force, the direction the force is being introduced to the ground and the speed at which the force is being introduced to the ground. We're able to assess both the left foot and the right foot and to make some comparisons. This information in combination with our hands-on assessment of Erin understanding which structures are painful and which direction they run, we're able to come up with a diagnosis for Erin that she has something called medial tibial stress syndrome, commonly known as shin splints. We're able to work out a management plan for Erin, which is going to give a period of time where we're able to allow some recovery, which is going to involve Erin taking some rest from running, and then we're going to look at a graded return so that the running happens again in the longer term but we get there over a period of time so that Erin can adjust to the load on these tissues. We also spent quite a bit of time having a look at the type of footwear that Erin uses because Erin recently changed her footwear to a less supportive type of shoe and she also increased her mileage at the same time which were contributing factors perhaps to her injury.